Oh, hello there. Uh, this is a bit awkward. You caught me in the midst of the preparation of the plot for today's project. So let me finish this and then we can actually talk what we will do today in Factorio. With all the wood out of the way, we can actually focus on what's really important. Last time we dealt with uh, our power shortage, so today we don't need to worry about power and what consumes power, which should mean that we can do some research. Uh, and I think we want to, to have things in, in that direction going, maybe also logistics robots, this and that, this, we will need this and, and then the queue is full. But today we want to see uh, about military science packs and uh, that's why I cleared this square out where we hopefully can figure out how to set up a factory for that. So let's actually get into it and um, pull up this, uh, this helper here. Um, okay. have it that way we need steel and then this okay if we scale this down a bit to maybe 1.8 1.6 we should have the, the limitating factor as most of the factories are at the moment. The largest smelting array is 20 furnaces. And we need uh, stone, copper, uh, that's not stone, iron, copper, stone and uh, coal. So that should not be that difficult. And here the uh, end result, it's also not that we need huge amount of uh, assembly machines. We need quite a few uh, of the uh, electric furnaces, however. And I think for the, for the first part, for iron, which is copy, copy this one. That will do. And then for copper, copy this one. That will also do. We don't need this part. Um, how much copper do we need? Seven. Uh, we have eight. Eight will be eight will be good. Right, and then um, let's have the the coal unloading down here. Uh, in the middle because stone we will need um, we will also need a, a smelting array so that can then go here on top so let me put in the stone uh, place all that we have planned out so far and then we can see how to build up the rest of this factory. 
Oh, and we will need... Actually, that's a good point, because all our stations have the, uh, the pickup up here. So maybe we will have stone here on the on the side as well. But we have situations where we had this this double delivery like here. So should not be that big of uh, of a problem. Okay, that went fast, so let's queue the next uh, researchers can do. Does not really matter, we want to get them out of the way anyway. We will need that one however. Here, this one wants to be. Oh, we can. Move that part to here. That should still work. And we don't need that one. And that will be for stone. Alright, uh, looks like I have my work cut out. All the stations are in and the furnaces are placed. And for some resources I also added additional trains. Um, not for um, copper and iron uh, because there we have this mechanism that uh, we disable uh, stations that are already full of ore. Maybe we need one for stone. I added of course one for the, for the science itself and one for the coal. So if we then look at at what we what we have to do is uh, let let's get stone out of the way first um or rather the the stone walls these are two um two assembly machines that we need to place down so uh, let's actually do that here on this side and have this going like so then have it justly and that's stone wall and with the research speed, with our research lab that we have, we already pushed through all the research that we can do. So that's that. And then what's next? What's next? Um, so... Um, we need two assembly machines for the um, let's actually have that here on this side then let's have two assembly machines for the yellow belts for the for the yellow ammo that should still leave enough
uh, enough iron on the side and we will do it this way bring out the yellow ammunition here on this side and it will all be on on one side of the belt because this then means we can all that we need for the um, for the uh, uh, grenades um, we'll leave okay so we leave space here three for beacons that means output goes here and we have one line here on there and there is the second output so actually input goes in here and how many do we need i think it's 10 so that means five on each side um, if I can place them properly. Um, grenades. We have, oh, input goes in the other direction. And then output here on the outside. we have these two things then we only have to combine copper steel and this together for these ones and steel and the yellow ones we only need one so naturally these will go on one belt and how many assembly machines do we need four so we will oh let's actually put them up one higher so we can have like that that's this input and then long-handed there and output on the other side maybe let's make it like this and there and I think for military science two walls one grenade so 
This then means we will put these two together and this will be a separate belt. And how many assembly machines do we need? 12. So if we do this in a double row, that would mean one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the same amount on the other side. But I run out again of material. Luckily here, we are right on top of uh, our facility that produces all the good stuff. We only have to go around and grab what we need. So need a few more inserters there. And then hopefully we can finish this set up without it becoming too cramped. Of course, I'll put here on this side and on this side. it up there so that's that signs and as we have an even number of um, assembly machine on each side it's best to do it that way I think it's a bit more of I imagine um, when it comes to power pole action. So we need this to go there. Um, Here we can have it that way. And we have military science production. That was not that difficult, and we have even room to spare. Wonderful. So what shall we focus on? Oh we unlocked this one. Uh, this will become important in one of the, of the next episodes because we want to switch out our coal and wood powered trains with, with electric trains now that we have enough electricity, electricity at our disposal. So I think we will do the next level of military and these kind of things, uh, rockets, uh, laser turrets and the power. And after the, the first uh, research we will stall because then we will have to wait for the for the first train here to fill up and deliver and in the meantime 
we'll still have to fill up some more trains with fuel. But that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, we will see what we can accomplish next time. Until then, goodbye.